Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy and I have a story time for you today. Now this involves a shoe return. And generally whenever we have a return, um, you know, it can be tricky because a lot of customers, I don't know if they just feel very apprehensive when they come in, they think that we're gonna put up a fight. We, you know, we don't really care. I mean, <laughs> you know, we don't want returns, but it's not like we're actively trying to fight someone on a return if it's a valid, return of a brand new unused item and it's within the time frame for a return then yeah you know we'll take it in it's very cut and dry but um i think that a lot of customers when they come in they just have maybe apprehension they are very like kind of immediately defensive about it and just as a tip by the way going forward for you you know for everyone if you are returning an item just own it, you know, just like own your return. As long as you're within the parameters of the return, you know, in terms of the condition and the time frame, just return it. It's it's really okay. You don't have to like brace yourself for a fight. In this case, however, this woman like was looking for a fight. So she came in and it was a shoe return. Shoe returns generally are a lot easier than, you know, bag or small other goods returns because it is pretty obvious right away if a shoe is worn and as I explained in my perks and whatever video, Louis Vuitton's shoe return policy is that we can only accept merchandise that is an unused, unworn condition. And for shoes, because they show pretty much immediate wear and tear on the bottom, on the soles of the shoes, you know, it's pretty obvious. But what's required of a Louis Vuitton employee to accept a return is that we need to look at the item. And for some people, that is just so offensive. <laughs> so she had her shoe return. She had the box and for this story, I actually, I have a visual because I have the exact pair, not the exact pair, not her pair, but I have the exact style of the shoes that she returned. It is the Bahia Thong flip flops. I don't know if you guys remember this, this again, this is from like the early 2000s and whatever. These were really cute because they came with a really, with a unique um, shoe bag, a dust bag and it was um you know specific to the style of the shoe this came in several colors i own it in several colors i have it this is the pink it also came in blue and then in brown and each dust bag had the same matching you know lv uh kind of like a ribbon detail they're cute summer shoes they're not comfortable <laughs> but um yeah you can see with flip-flops i mean i've worn it a few times you know it, it gets dirty right it's pretty obvious right away if you have worn shoes so at the very least, it's not like I'm taking out a microscope and I'm, and I'm looking at her shoes to see if she's, you know, worn them. I just, I opened her shoe box and I flipped the shoes over to look at the soles because we had to. <laughs> it was required to accept a return to make sure that it wasn't worn. And it was, and it was pretty quick. I mean, I could tell that it wasn't worn, but my act of flipping the shoes over and looking at the soles to her was such a huge transgression on her on her honor on her character i guess she was immediately so offended that she literally she recoiled and she was like and she had this look of like disgust on her face and she was like i have never worn these shoes <laughs> and i was like okay you know and that's pretty much so my face when i'm smiling that's my retail face and that's the face that I make when I'm like, oh no, this is gonna be trouble. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe for some people, it's a, it's too, and it's almost like, it's like a double-edged sword because you know, you wanna smile and you wanna look like, yes, I understand what you're saying. Um, but then if they're so mad already and immediately offended that it's almost condescending to them, any kind of expression you make. So I really was like, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't, I just, I was like, okay, you know, okay. <laughs> so at this point I had the shoes in my hand. I was, you know, I looked at underneath and, and that was it. I, like I said, I wasn't inspecting it like thoroughly. I wasn't like holding it up. I wasn't smelling it <laughs> to see if it was unworn, but she was so mad that I dared to look at the shoes to make sure she wasn't wearing it. I mean, I don't know if she had a guilty conscience. Maybe she did wear it, who knows? A lot of times, you know, maybe a lot of times, and you know, this is maybe turning into a therapy session, but um, it could be that she was projecting her guilt or projecting her anger, I don't know. But she really was just started lashing out at me. And she kept saying, I have never worn these shoes. I don't know why you're looking at it like that. And I was like, okay, you know, I understand. So I always say I understand, you know, 
<laughs> it's like my default response. It's almost like to give me time to think of like what else to say. So I just, you know, said something like, okay, you know, I understand, you know, our policy is, you know, it's within the time frame, and we just need to make sure that it's it's unworn and in saleable, you know, new condition so that it can be resold. Then she took out her phone, was like talking to her husband or something. She was like, I'm on the, I'm at the store, I'm trying to return the shoes, and this woman is giving me a hard time. And I was like, oh my God, like what hard time? Am I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything at that point. Like she kind of turned and she's on the phone and she's like, she needs better training. And she turned to me and she says, you need more training. And I was like, what? <laughs> what just happened? It literally, the situation escalated from zero to a hundred in 10 seconds. And so I was like, okay. And so I just, anyway, whatever. I think at that point I couldn't even process returns anyway because I was just a sales associate. So I had to go get my, you know, I think I got the assistant manager. So I went back and I left the shoes with her because I know that some people are concerned with, you know, they, some people are so paranoid. They think if you take their item to the back when you're trying to get a manager that you're gonna do like some kind of bait and switch as though we have a, as though we have a wall of counterfeit bags of that exact item. Like we can predict what they're gonna bring in so that we can like keep a stockpile of, of whatever fakes are. Anyway, I'm getting into a whole tangent here. But yeah, so I left the shoes with her and I went back to my assistant manager and I was like, hey, this, this lady's returning these shoes. She seems really upset immediately. And because I was looking at the shoes to make sure that they weren't worn. And um, she told me I need more training. <laughs> so my manager, you know, we were a really good team and we were very protective of each other. And especially, I think I was, I was in college at the time and my manager was older. She was very like protect, she was like a mother hen. And she was like, what, who is she? And you know, she was like, let me talk to her. And so she went out and, and she kind of, you know, she dealt with it, it was fine. But so at that point, you know, I guess I'm just the scapegoat. I, I don't know what it is that people are just automatically angry. But for the most part, I have, you know, a resting smiling face. I don't have RBF. I am not trying to fight anyone. Spoiler alert, we don't make commission on sales. Just as we don't make commission on sales, we don't lose commission on returns. So, you know, it really doesn't hurt our bottom line at the end of the day uh, to process a return but just like, just chill out, <laughs> just chill. If you ever return, it's gonna be okay. Just walk into it, just be confident. Don't be angry, you know, it's, you're gonna be okay. We will handle the return, it's gonna be fine. But yeah, so that was another story of just a really angry, uh, irate and immediately offended customer who was returning shoes that maybe she did wear. Maybe that's why she was so angry <laughs> because I was onto her. <laughs> so that's just another quick customer shenanigans. Um, if you work in retail, let me know what was your angriest customer, um, especially involving a return. Again, you know, when people come in for returns, I just feel like they're immediately very defensive and they think that we're gonna put up a fight. You know, there's no fight. Nobody wants to fight. Like, let's just all get along, okay? <laughs> but let me know what was your uh, angriest customer return story. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.